Hey guys, I'm back with another video. This one's gonna be a bit different from my usual content. It's a tutorial video for all you coding enthusiasts out there who want to lotify or add Tekken 8 moves to Tekken 6 on Android. It's a pretty basic tutorial focusing solely on animation imported. So without further ado, let's dive right into the video. So, what we have to do. First, go to Sadamitsu's NetSheet website. I will choose Lars for this tutorial, so let's select a move. I want current ring move of Lars. Let's go for it. So the animation is here. This is sample point. And the result will come here after adding reactions with pointer. Now select that reaction. I am gonna select him 2 1 for stand and default for air. Now let's copy this animation. Now I am going to put it in text file. You can use quick dit for Android. Let's assume this as master code. And write this cheat for Lars move. Our half work is done. What we will have to do next is this three line. I sort out this three line for you all. We need character ID, move number and the move pointer for this cheat code. Now, what's the last character ID? To know this, go to Sadamitsu's guide page for Android. And you will find that Lars ID is 28. We will copy this and replace it with ID. For move number, we will visit Sadamitsu's Move Finder website. For knowing the move number, we will write here the move that we are adding to game. I'm entering 2-1, and here is the move number. Note while doing this, we have to select Paul or Elisa as it's shown, because it's necessary. Replace that move number. And paste the move pointer from animation, convert to page. Now we are done here. Save this file in right format with its Unicode. You can also do this with QuickDip. Everything is done, we can start our game and check for the move. In training mode, let's select Lars and Paul. Now see this, I am doing 2-1 move without activating cheat code. I am gonna activate the cheat code. And you can see here the cheat code is working fine. We done it! I know many of you thinking that why the reaction is not same as Tekken 8. So this is the basic guide for importing move from Tekken 8. Let's take another example and let's do again. We will do the same thing again. Selecting move. Copy move. Pointer. Places all things in their place. Now we are done here and check this. We added this move successful. So what you all think about this? If you liked then show your support homies, like the video. I know it's not hard for you all. 20 likes I want for my hard work, then I will teach you next step.